and her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner? My tummy's making lots of noises. Tonight we're making tacos. Yay! What's a taco? And how do you make them? <laughs> it's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish. Splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. <laughs> splash, 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 splash. Now, Pepper and Mummy Pig are nice and clean too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Pepper. The juice from the onion sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Pepper knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Pepper. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. Then you can mash the avocado, Pepper. Pepper likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Pepper. Perfect. Now we mix in other ingredients. And add a very special squeeze of lime. Squeeze! <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Oh, it's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla, like this. And add your favourite ingredients. Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Mm. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. <gasps> but they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <gasps> Peppa and her friends are going to watch the football match today. Oh dear! The cake is squashed. Oh, no! My trophy cake! I'm very sorry, Mummy Pig. It's OK. We'll just have to make a new one. But there's only ten minutes until the match starts. Well, we'd better get a wriggle on, then. To the supermarket! All right. Who wants to play football? Yes! We've not got much time, so we're going to have to split up. Peppa, you and I will find the sponge cakes. Hooray! Granny Pig, you and Mandy Mouse find the icing. Whee! And Daddy Pig, you and George are in charge of sprinkles. Sprinkles! Let's go! Let's go! Aim for the top corner. There, in the top corner. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. Well done. Pop it in the basket. I can save three shots at once. Ah. We'll need three sponge cakes, Pepper. Whoa! Phew! Well done, team. We've got all the ingredients. 
Now let's get back home and make this cake. Everyone is very busy making the new cake. <laughs> How many goals is that? One hundred or one hundred and one? We made a new cake! Hooray! And just in time, the game's about to start! Hooray! and her playgroup are playing lots of games today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like jelly. Correct. Hmm. Aha! Feels like a banana. Correct again. <laughs> oh. Mm. Tastes like banana too. <laughs> 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 Your go, Pedro. But I don't want to touch something smushy. It'll be okay. Our smushy things were delicious. Oh, it's cold and made of metal. Is it a key? It is. Well done, Pedro. Hooray! It's a key to a special mystery box. You need to find two more to unlock the prize. Ooh! How do we find more, Madam Gazelle? In our next game, of course. These are piñatas. You have to find the exciting surprises inside. How do we do that? You break them open with these soft foam bats. <coughs> <coughs> It's full of snow. <laughs> Mine too. <gasps> oh. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> I did it. The second key. Only one more to go. I love Pass a parcel. Me too. Me three. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I won. This is a very long song. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Hooray! Now Peppa and her friends have found all three keys, it's time to find out their prize. <laughs> wow! Christmas biscuits! <gasps> Yum! You did it, Peppa! You all did it together, Pedro. A big one. Granny Pig has asked Pepper and George to find some fruit and vegetables for lunch. First on the list is a fruit that can be red or green. What do you think that can be? Hmm. <laughs> George, we don't have time to eat. We have to find fruit for lunch. <gasps> An apple. They can be red or green. Next, we have to find a long vegetable that is orange and crunchy. I know. Rebecca Rabbit always brings carrots to playgroup. They are long and orange and crunchy. Grandpa, where are the carrot trees? <laughs> Not everything grows on trees. 
Some vegetables grow in the ground. <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> 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 Next up is a vegetable that looks like small trees. <laughs> I can only see big trees, Grandpa, not small ones. These stools look like little trees. They're broccoli. Ho, 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 ho. Very good, Pepper. Last on the list is oranges. That's odd. I don't think I grow any oranges. If there are oranges here, George and I will find them, Grandpa. Pepper and George are searching everywhere for an orange. Uh. <laughs> orange! That is the right colour, but not what we are looking for. Oranges are round. But they can't seem to find one anywhere. We found the orange. <laughs> that is the right colour, and it is round, but that is a pumpkin. Oh. <gasps> oranges! Where did you find those oranges, Granny? We looked everywhere. From the supermarket, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant. It's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! 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 Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> yes! Yay! Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. This room is all about bees. It even has bee costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? Bees, bees. Well, go. Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. Bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz! We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone. Yay! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack. It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr. And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. It's a... <gasps> Butterfly! Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. Today, everyone is playing in Peppa's garden. Emily Elephant has slipped into a big muddy puddle. <gasps> Monster! No! Monster! 
monsters aren't real. It's a... <gasps> hedgehog! Phew! <laughs> the hedgehog has slipped in the muddy puddle too. Don't worry, we'll help you get out. Whoa! <gasps> The hedgehog has become a prickly ball, but Edmund knows what to do. We need to get some help from a grown-up, because the hedgehog is lost and prickly, and we need to be careful. Oh! Mummy Pig! Daddy Pig! Mummy Pig has come to help everyone out of the muddy puddle. And Daddy Pig is helping the hedgehog. His thick gloves keep him safe from the hedgehog's spiky back. You can put the hedgehog here. There's a blanket in there so it's nice and toasty. Blanky! Wonderful. Careful now, hedgehogs can be a little bit prickly. Hooray! I'll call you Prickles. Prickles! Dr Hamster has come to check that Prickles is safe and healthy. <laughs> it was very clever to call me for help. Hooray! Prickles has rolled up into a ball again. Why does Prickles do that, Dr Hamster? Hedgehogs roll into balls when they're scared to keep themselves safe. Oh, so Prickles is scared? It's just a bit noisy, that's all. If we keep quiet, maybe a little bit of apple will help Prickles feel relaxed. <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant have found more than a little bit of apple. Ah! Uh -uh. Hooray! There, some food and rest. And we can release Prickles into the garden when the sun goes down. Why can't we do it now? Hedgehogs are nocturnal, which means they like to explore at night and sleep in the daytime. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. Oops, sorry Prickles. The sun is going down, which means it's time for Prickles to go back home. Where do hedgehogs live, Dr. Hamster? Why, in hedges, of course. <coughs> Bye, Prickles. Come and visit us again soon. Everyone loves spending time with Prickles, and everyone loves seeing him get home safely. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Phew! Wow! wow. Oh, oh, good day! What's, this? What's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many <gasps> fun arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup <laughs> are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh. And Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face <gasps> painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. <laughs> Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Pepper is green. I'm green. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint 
and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A, a star! star! Peppa Hello. loves the lovely star and Peppa loves Arts and Crafts Day. <laughs> Happy Easter, children! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oops! Ooh. <laughs> Happy Easter, Madame Gazelle! Peppa and her friends are doing lots of Easter activities today. Today, I have a very special visitor for you. Miss Rabbit! Hello, children. The Easter Bunny sent me to play some Easter games with you. <gasps> Hooray! But first, we need to make you all honorary Easter bunnies. <laughs> Oh, I see you're already an honorary Easter bunny. <laughs> now, who'd like to decorate some Easter eggs? Hooray! Peppa and her friends are painting wooden eggs. Remember, children, you can decorate your Easter egg however you like. <laughs> Hello, Mr Egg. <laughs> oh dear, it looks like Danny Dog was given a real egg by mistake Danny, what happened to your egg? I think I painted it a bit too hard <laughs> Good job I brought a spare all right, bunnies, follow me. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come outside to play a special Easter game. Now we're going to play bunny bowling. Roll your eggs along the ground and see how many bunny pins you can knock down. <gasps> Good try, Mr Egg. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> A bit too high. Huh? <laughs> oh, looks like you all win. Yeah! <laughs> well done, everybody. You've all earned a special Easter <gasps> medal! Hooray! And, best of all, these medals are made of chocolate. Mmm! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 Is there a prize for eating the most chocolate too? Peppa and her friends love Easter very much indeed. <laughs> Almost got you. Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside. Because today, Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra ah. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Pom-pom! Pom-pom! Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! I will help you. Uh, <laughs> mm, this is tricky. 
Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mmm, guacamole. Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Peppa has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying the dancing. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. There, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Peppa loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this. Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown-up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clogs. <laughs> Righto then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Oh. <laughs> we are as high as the clouds. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. Oh, I suppose it's good fun at the bottom too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Now, we add ice cream, cherries and whipped cream. Oh. George oh. likes adding the ice cream. Careful! Don't squish the banana. <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> Don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, oh, oh, oh. uh -huh. it's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Ho, oh. oh, oh. ho, not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, Meringue and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay! Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm. A rainbow one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Peppa and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle, ah. not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is vanilla. My favourite! <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. <laughs> Today, Peppa is very excited to get ready for playgroup. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's because today <laughs> is... Picture day! Hooray! Madam Gazelle has made a special photo booth for picture day. Ooh! Mm. Ready for your picture, Peppa? Yes! I stayed clean and tidy all morning. That's fun. I brought my football kit for my picture. Oh. Peppa didn't know that she could dress up for picture day. Hello, children. You may dress up for your pictures if you like. Hooray! But remember, all that matters is that your picture shows something special about you. <gasps> oh! oh. Would you like to go first, Danny? Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa thinks Ooh. Danny's pictures look very good indeed. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Susie Sheep has dressed as a nurse for her picture. She loves to dress up as a nurse. Mandy Mouse loves to play the recorder, so she is playing a song in her pictures. What a lovely tune, Mandy. George, would you like to go next? What are you going to use for your picture, George? Dinosaur! 
George has decided to take his picture with his favourite toy. What a ferocious dinosaur you are, George. Peppa, it's your turn. But I haven't found anything perfect to wear, Madam Gazelle. Oh, you don't have to wear something special, Peppa. Your picture just has to have something that makes you happy. Oh. Nothing makes Peppa oh. happier <gasps> than jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh. Uh <-huh>. <laughs> Perfect. Now, there is just one picture left to take. A class uh, picture. But who is going to take the picture, Madam Gazelle? The camera has a timer, huh? so it will take the picture all by itself. In three, two, one, say cheese. Cheese! Peppa and her friends love picture day, but huh. Madam Gazelle loves picture day most of all. Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Peppa. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Peppa in the sky. It's me! Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Hamster! Thank you for the sky picture! You're very welcome! <laughs> Off I go! <laughs> What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, blimp, blimp! The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up! This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, birds. A cloud. <laughs> Hello, clouds. Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again. There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um... <laughs> This steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important pronouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp. Which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important oh. thing. A pilot hat <laughs> for Peppa and George. I'm Pilot Peppa. Pilot! Peppa loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, 
Everyone can try! Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away! <laughs> it's just like jumping in muddy puddles! Well done, everyone! Now follow me! This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red! Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. <laughs> and how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's mm. lots of colours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. Ah, yum! This is orange ah. juice. Mmm! <laughs> this is apple juice. Ah. Ah. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special... Rainbow <gasps> juice! Yum, yum, yum! Peppa loves learning about juice and Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Today, Peppa's playgroup is having a very special lesson. Today we're learning about the 4th of July, American Independence Day. What's Independence Day? Independence Day is a day when Americans <laughs> celebrate all the things they love about their country. And we have a very special visitor. Happy Independence Day, everyone! Oh, <laughs> Mr. Bull has just been on holiday in America and has agreed to share some of the things he loved there with us. Let's start with an American party called a cookout. We can cook together using my new barbecue. I'll be the Grill Master. Ooh. Mr. Bull's barbecue is very big. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bull. But we will have our barbecue later and outside. Righto. First, we are going to dress up. Peppa and her friends are dressing up in the colors of the American flag. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> the grill master and his barbecue are fired up and ready to go. Is it time yet? No, Mr. Bull. We must decorate first. Oh, of course. Back to the grill I go. Way. Next, everyone is hanging red, white, and blue decorations. Hooray! Now, Peppa and her friends are making an American flag. Stars does an American flag have? Um, lots and lots. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's lots and lots of stars, children. The American flag has 50 stars, one for every state, you know. Now, is it time for the barbecue yet? Hmm. Yes, it's time. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Bull is very excited to use his barbecue. Hope y'all ready for some authentic American barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. But the barbecue has burned all the food. Mm. What can we eat now? Don't you worry, I'm not just a grill master. I'm also a delicious all-American apple pie master. Mmm! I love a 
apple pie. It's the most American food there is, especially with fireworks! Yeah! Everyone loves fireworks and apple pie, especially on Independence Day. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> Try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try, Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. Hooray! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Today, Peppa's playgroup are on a trip to the lake. They are going to row boats. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. Are you ready to row boats today? Oh, yes. The rowing boats are just over there. Let's go! Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing life jackets and helmets to keep them safe on the boats. You all look ready to get going. Yes! <laughs> Pepper, Susie and Pedro, you'll be in the red rowing boat with me and Grumpy Rabbit. And Mandy, Emily and Danny will be in the blue rowing boat with me and Captain Dog. Quick! To row the boat, you have to put this special stick called an oar in the water and pull like this. Heave! Ho! Now you try. Everyone is very excited to row the boats themselves. But no one is working together. Why isn't the boat moving, Miss Captain Rabbit? 
everyone needs to row together all at once, like this. When I say heave, we push. And when I say ho, we pull. <laughs> Let's all try together. Heave, ho! Well done! Hooray! The boat is moving along the water. Everyone is working together as a team. Heave! Everyone is having lots of fun rowing their boats, but it is almost time to go home. Time to row back to shore now, children. Your parents have come to collect you. Squeak, can we race to the shore? A wonderful idea, Mandy. Is everyone ready? Ready! On your marks, get set, go! Everyone is rowing as fast as they can back to the shore. Pepper is helping her friends row as a team. Weave on. <laughs> Weave slow. Um, believe, go. Almost there. It's neck and neck. It's a draw. Well done, children. Everyone loves rowing boats and everyone loves working as a team. Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello everybody! Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh! And don't forget your safety helmets! Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble oh. making her go kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. Grandpa George, where are you? <laughs> Today, Peppa is playing in the garden with George and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> I found you! Peppa has found George and Grandpa Pig in a bush. <laughs> it's so cosy.
rosy in here. Yes. Reminds me of the garden den I had as a boy. Can we make a garden den, Grandpa? Yes, indeed. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing special gardening gloves and boots ah. to make the garden den. <laughs> First, we need to dig a hole with these spades and get lots of sticks and twigs. Pepper loves digging the hole with Grandpa Pig. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Um, well done, Pepper. And George loves <laughs> gathering sticks. <laughs> I think that's enough sticks. Well done, George. Now Grandpa Pig is hammering the sticks into the hole. Stand back, everyone. <coughs> Finally, Grandpa Pig makes a roof out of sticks. And Pepper and George cover the roof in lots of leaves. Why do we need the leaves, Grandpa? They keep the den nice and warm. Look safe and sound. <gasps> well done. <laughs> You'll need this before we go in, Pepper. Grandpa Pig has given Pepper a special backpack. <laughs> Everyone is very happy with their new garden den. Um, Grandpa, what do we do in the garden den? My favourite thing to do in a den is have a <gasps> picnic. The special backpack is full of fruit from the garden. Pepper and George <laughs> love having a picnic in the garden den. Mm. Pepper, oh. George, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves having a picnic in the garden den. It is dinner time, but dinner has been burned. Oh dear, do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway, or sushi. Can we have this one, please? Pepper wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Pepper and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> what happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food. And then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look, she's nearly here. Let's go and find Yay! her. <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone mm. to the wrong door. Oh. oh. Here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. <laughs> Rice, noodles, vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay! Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy noodles are not Pepper's favourite. <laughs> Here. Try a vegetable spring roll. Mmm, vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> 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 
Peppa and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Peppa loves Chinese takeaway. Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs>